In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can permit ICMP, but block protocols such as HTTP. At the moment, my Zodiac FX has three flows. Traffic coming in on port two is gonna be sent out of port one. Traffic coming in on port one is gonna be sent out of port two. All other traffic is gonna be sent to the controller. I can view that on the Zodiac FX by going to open flow, show flows. And there are my three flows. Flow one is sending all traffic to the controller. That's the first flow that was written to the switch. On the controller, it's shown last because it has the lowest priority. Flow two is matching all traffic coming in on port two and sending it out of port one. And flow three is matching all traffic coming in on port one and sending it out of port two. So my PC is able to connect to google.com, to northboundnetworks.com, and to the Open Networking Foundation. So I can connect to the internet and access these websites. But now let's write a flow entry to the switch using Flowmaker Deluxe. And I'm gonna write this to table zero with a priority of 20,000. And I'm gonna say that traffic coming in on port one with ether type IP version four should be dropped. Before I save that flow, notice I'm able to ping google.com or cisco.com. So I can ping various websites and I can access various websites using a web browser. Now when I add that flow entry, I'm still able to ping websites on the internet. But am I able to access them using a web browser? So I'll go to cisco.com. Notice I'm having a problem connecting to the website. Let's go to Northbound Networks. I'm having a problem getting to that site. Opennetworking.org. I can't access any of these websites because they are matching this high priority flow entry, which is then dropping the traffic. I'm still able to ping google.com as an example, or cisco.com, because that traffic matches this flow entry with a lower priority, sending traffic out of port two, which takes me to the internet. But this high priority traffic matching TCP is being dropped. So I'm not able as an example to connect to those websites, but I can ping those websites. So to prove it, I'm gonna delete this flow entry Let's try and access Cisco again, and there you go. Northbound Networks, Open Networking Foundation's website. I'm able to access all those websites because now they're matching this flow entry, which is sending the traffic from port one to port two and onto the internet. So that was a simple demonstration showing you how you can block certain traffic types, but permit others. I could, as an example, specify destination port numbers or source port numbers if I wanted to. So rather than blanketly blocking TCP, I could decide to only block port 80 or another port. So I could, as an example, block FTP.